Okay, so here we are. We are going to get this card installed in that computer. And currently, right now, it's behind the television because I actually have it hooked up to my, um, this is my new Samsung S90D. Now this OLED TV is phenomenal, but I've talked enough about that, so let's move on. <laughs> so we're gonna get it unconnected from the back of this TV. And I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna get the card installed, and I'll set it back up, and then we'll get the software installed and get it prepped for the Elgato 4KX USB capture card that I have coming. And I'm also doing a test with this camera, which is my Logitech C930E. It's a 1080p camera. And uh, I'm actually going to try to be using it first with the Elgato in streaming from that computer. Uh, if it doesn't look right or if I can't get it set up correctly, then I'll probably get a different type of camera. But for right now, that's what I want to test out once I get the uh, Elgato. So you're probably wondering though, like, Robert, how can you play your PlayStation on your main television and also see your stream well I have a solution for that too and you're definitely gonna to want to hit that like and subscribe because you're gonna to want to come back and check this out when it's all done because I think this is gonna be a pretty epic setup so that TV right there I'm going to use as my monitor for that computer once I get it all hooked up I'll be doing a review on that television as well, so you'll want to check that out once I get it published. So don't forget to hit that bell because you want to get notified when that comes out. So my game plan is card in a computer, capture card on that computer, that computer hooked to that television sitting over here on the side of this TV so I can see my stream, chat, everything else that's going on here play the game here on that PlayStation, which you can't see because it's right there. And uh, so yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, I have not seen anyone with a setup like that. So if you know of somebody that had it set up and uh, you can point me to another YouTube video, I would sure love to check theirs out. But you'll wanna come back and check this out when it's all done. I should have everything connected, hooked up, and be able to do a final video next weekend. But this is video one in this series of getting this set up the way I want it. So we're gonna disconnect that computer. I've already powered it off, and we'll bring it over here, get this card installed, and then uh, we'll actually get the software installed using that TV for the monitor. So let's get to it. So here it is. This is a older Dell XPS 8900. It's been a really good computer. I've had this computer for a really long time and it has not failed me. I have done some upgrades, but uh, it has been a solid piece of equipment. That's why I just keep using it because I just don't see the reason to replace it until it just completely stops working. And it's definitely going to be fast enough and powerful enough to be the streaming computer. So. Um, one thing I want to mention too is if you do use a computer on a television, get yourself one of these. It's a Logitech trackball USB. I use them here. I have one at my office. They're just fantastic. Okay, so the joys of being a YouTube content creator. <laughs> the second half of my video, I did not realize that my mic and the camera had stopped recording. So. I went through the whole last part and wasn't even recording, but unfortunately, because of what it is, I'm not gonna go back and completely uninstall and reinstall the card again. There really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, really, the only thing that wasn't caught was uh, me doing the driver install. Okay, so I realized that my mic actually stopped working much earlier in the video than expected. So I am going to at least explain what you're seeing and that way you can get an idea of what it is and what I'm doing. Okay, so I want to show you the inside of the case. And as you can see, I've got a GeForce GTX NVIDIA video card. It is a 1080. And I have a Corsair CX500M power supply. 
It does have some additional RAM and I put SSDs in it. So it's got some pretty fast read write speeds. Uh, should be more than enough to do the recording that I want to do with the 4K on the Elgato. So as you can see, there's a connector that's necessary for the computer. And I do have one that's right there next to the video card. So we're going to install it in that slot. Unfortunately, these older cases, they are not quite as toolless as a newer case. But, uh, you know, one screw is really all it took on this here. And it just pops down into that uh, PCIe slot that's right next to the video card. All right, so the card is installed. And I just want to show you how it looks inside the case. And you see right there next to the video card. Nice, easy, clean install. And as you'll see on the back, as I flip this around, it's got the two USB-C ports that are 10 gigabit ports. And of course, all my video ports from the video card. And this is gonna work out perfect. So we're gonna get the case back on and we will get it hooked back up to the television. So that way we can go through the software install, get drivers installed and all that good stuff. Uh, I did have a little bit of an issue with the driver. Even though Windows has the driver for that card, it's out of date. So I downloaded the driver, but when I went to install it, it said that the card wasn't supported, that maybe I already have the driver installed. That doesn't make sense because I don't. However, I had to go in and manually install the driver to get the card on the current driver. Shouldn't have to do that, but not a big deal. So it's done. Tested it, it works. So now the computer is all prepped and ready for the Elgato and it is all ready to be connected to the TV slash monitor, <laughs> which again is going to be epic. So you want to definitely come back and check that out. Now I'll probably end up finishing the whole video process as far as the next steps next weekend. So you'll want to come back and check that out. If I have time tomorrow or Tuesday after I get the Elgato, I will do a step two video of the installation of the Elgato. Now keep in mind, I can probably set up the recording without having a monitor to look at since it's just recording to the computer, but I'll probably wait until I have the TV unboxed and ready to go before I do that. Cards installed. Elgato will be here tomorrow. I'll get the TV unboxed and set up. Then we'll get everything connected and we'll be doing some 4K streaming and recording, which I can't wait. Because even though you can do a recording on the PlayStation for 4K, it only gives you an hour, number one. And number two, you have to actually copy it from the PlayStation to an external hard drive. Then I have to copy it to my computer. Then I have to do the editing. Then I have to upload it. It's just a real pain. If I can stream and record at the same time in 4K, I don't have to do anything to actually get it to YouTube. It's already there. I can actually do some, you know, editing on YouTube as well. If I want to shorten it or, you know, take snippets out. YouTube editor has some, yeah, I mean, they're okay, but it does have some functionality for editing. But I don't know. We'll see how my whole process is going to be. It's going to be a whole different scenario once I get everything hooked up. And I might find something that actually is a little more efficient. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm super excited. I think this is going to be cool. And I hope you come around to check that out. In the meantime, I know I've said it before, but you're going to want to go check out this video here to check out that S90D OLED television. I just can't say enough good things about it. It's pretty phenomenal. And we'll see you in the next video.